Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap and usually I keep my eating habits to myself but this time I'm enjoying my coffee. You don't see that usually with me on camera but I have to have my caffeine, that's my one vice. And this soap is going to be called Espress Way. I'm using um, a great fragrance from Brambleberry called uh, Espresso. It smells amazing. So I'm going to build my colors based on coffee which is browns. And we usually use um, browns in limited amounts or we put up with it because the vanillin content makes it turn brown. But I'm going to show you what you can do to plan a color scheme around browns. So let's get started right away. So this color tutorial is devoted to browns. And sometimes we want browns. Many times we avoid brown. Um, but I just want to show you um, one of the things about brown that um, maybe we can avoid. Um, we think of brown mainly as just one type of brown, but imagine that the whole soap is colored like that. It's sort of flat. It is flat because there's no variance in it, but there's a lot of variance that you can put in brown, and that's what I'm going to show today. I'm going to be making this coffee soap, so I uh, know that there's many different things going on with brown. So let me get a couple browns on the paper. So imagine mixing all those browns together. It'd be kind of dull. And we have soap that has vanillin in it and we don't have much control over uh, what goes on with the browning there. But I'm, I try to control it anyway, knowing that I can always lighten it. So one of the first things you can do, a simple thing to do, is add some white to the brown. It doesn't change it too much on white paper because this the white of the paper shows through all these browns. But that's a that's a brown with white in it. Let me just get a little bit more brown in there. Sort of mil like adding milk to your coffee. And what I'm going to do in this soap is add just white to the top because there's that frothy um, milk like in cappuccino that I associate with browns, especially if I'm making a coffee soap. But beyond that, what else can you do? You can warm that brown up with some red, and that's still considered brown. Warms it up a bit. I can add some orange to the brown. I'm going to add a little bit too much orange, but I can alter that a little bit. That's a nice rich brown also. And then I can also use some just a little touch of black to the brown to make it a darker more chocolatey brown. Um, so there's a range of browns there that you can build a whole palette on. Okay so we have all these browns. This by the way you can do with other colors as well and that is to build a whole palette on one color. We call that a monochromatic color scheme. One, you know, mono meaning one, and chromatic meaning color. So here's the color wheel, and you see that the browns really show up on this inner ring of the color wheel. Uh, and there's a range of browns right in there. So why is it there on the color wheel? As you can see, the red and the green are right across from each other on the color wheel. Those are the contrasting colors of um, complementary colors. Well, basically that's what happened here. Other things are happening here. This is a tone and this is a tint of red. So there's very various kinds of reds. I'm just talking about this inner ring though and that is a result of mixing this color with its opposite across the color wheel. So I'm going to um, do my Espress Way soap in this color scheme but with one additional challenge and that is the color of the soap is going to change all on its own and I don't see that until the reactions happen and the fragrance that naturally browns the soap happens. So I'm going to take that into consideration and just kind of assume that I'm going to have a, a brownish soap. And there's a color tutorial for today. Let's get started with the soap telling you just what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to speed this up 
to get to the actual coloring and pouring and fragrance. Um, but, you know, I'm just blending my um, milks, clays, um, some caffeine powder, um, shea butter, and then add my lye, and I'm going to just speed that all up so we can get to the good stuff. So this fragrance already made the soap a lot um, more orange in color, but let's go ahead and pour that into my containers. Remember this is going to be a brown monochromatic, so um, I want it to basically be versions of brown. So this is my white, and I want a little bit more of that, that's going to be the top. This is going to be my orange. And orangey brown is very nice. It's um, warm, a warm brown. Just a little tiny bit of black to ensure um, a darker brown. And the rest is just going to be a plain brown that comes about from the fragrance. And actually, I'm just going to use the original bowl to do that because that's going to be the majority of the batter. And okay, so this is the white. I want to keep track of that because that's not going to get any color. I don't want that to brown at all. So let's put a little there, a little there, most of it here. Give that a stir. And the rest, I don't want to contaminate the rest of it, so let's mix this white. Just to get the colors mixed a little bit ahead of time. In this orange, I mixed some neon orange, which is very fluorescent, so I put a little um, ochre in that one as well. Dark brown, and this will become a medium brown just because of the fragrance. Let's first do my stirring, and it smells just like a chocolatey espresso. Wow. Okay, so right now you're thinking, um, as I'm thinking, what a nice color scheme right here. But remember, everything's going to darken except for the white. I want tight little swirls like I did in my other coffee soap. And this is called Fully Loaded. But this one only really has two different types of browns. And I want to see if this color design today is going to result to a more rich different colors um, floating around there. And the swirl type is going to be pretty much what I did last time, which is that full funnel pour in the in the pot. Save a little bit for the top. This color right now I'm not fond of. It looks like a burnt split pea soup. Yum! But it'll change color. Pour that right into the orange area. A little bit on top here. Just a little bit of white all the way around. So now it's starting to thicken up, which is good. I gave it three stirs. It's a great, like, butterscotch color right now. Yeah. But this I'm going to pour closer to the top because I'm going to do a spoon swirl on the top to simulate 
coffee swirls on the top. So this is my darkest brown. And get that all in there. And this is my warm brown with the orange. And get all of that in there from further away so it sinks in a little bit. Then I'm going to take a spoon and just roll the top. And then I'm trying to simulate uh, the froth or milk on the top of the soap. The idea for how I'm going to do the top, I'm going to just leave it like this. Okay, and then just a little bit of glitter. <clears throat> and that's it. So this is my soap expressway and I'm going to show you how I cut it now. The color right now is like a golden cappuccino and it smells awesome. I think you can see the edges turning a darker brown already but um, you get an idea of what the swirls look like. Kind of fun to see the color change. And I want to tight swirls on this one too to represent the the cream and coffee swirling together. It's said that this this fragrance gets better as it um, cures, so I'll, I'll pay attention to that. It re really heated up, so this is totally gelled. I can tell because of how easily it cuts. You see the bars disappearing. It's because I'm bringing it up to my nose to smell it. <laughs> really, it does smell awesome. I knew that as soon as I smelled it from the bottle. It was great. One more cut. There's the end piece. I could actually live with this color, but I think it's what's going to happen is as it cures and the fragrance browns the soap it's going to become more um, detailed because the white against the darker uh, areas is really going to be more pronounced but uh, I hope you enjoyed this soap making and soap cutting and this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap and thanks for your comments and those of you who have subscribed and we'll see you real soon bye everybody